All right, we're going to do a short episode for once because we have finally assembled the dream team. It has all come together. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. We're going to see quite how well does this team do. And uh, yeah, we got we got the team back. We got Cloud, we got Tifa, we got Piggy Man. And uh we're all we're all decked up and ready to go. And we're just gonna go fight some random enemies, and then we're gonna talk about what we did because we've done something. We snuck it in. Maybe someone noticed. Maybe no one noticed. But we we snuck some things in, and now we are ready to just absolutely demolish. I think the rest of the game. And fittingly, this comes up. We can get this set up right before what my youth self would certainly consider the hardest boss in the game, the giant robot chicken. All right, so we got some enemies. Cloud can attack. Cloud does 700. How much does Tifa do? All right, she missed. 3,000. Now, if she had hit the death blow, right, that's another... 6,000 damage. She's countering for just 3,000 damage casually. The rest of my party, Cloud's pretty good, 6,300. So she's doing like 9,300 damage. We're not like high levels. She could easily be doing more than this. You know, you could easily get to this point in the game. I guess we're level 40. We're decently high level. But I think there are ways you could get here where you would doing, be doing more like 10,000 if you hit the death blow. She's at 9,500-ish damage if she hits the death blow, but 3,100 without, when other characters are, like, trying to do 3,100 on their limit breaks. How did we achieve this? Simple. The curse ring increases stats. Now, you may have noticed she had the countdown above her head. It does give her countdown, death sentence, but in exchange for that, we have put added effect Odin. Odin comes with the death status effect, so added effect Odin cancels auto automatic KO effects. So she has a 60 second countdown, but she won't die at the end of that 60 second countdown. So we get the payoff of the cursed ring without the cost of the cursed ring. But is that all we're doing here? No, because the key equipment here is the power soul, which you may notice is only 28 attack when other options are like 68 or 62 if we want uh, to have, uh, you know, materia slots. 28, but it has a massive power boost if you are near death, so in critical condition, or have some different status effects. Um, and being in a death sentence, which Curse Ring automatically puts us in for 60 seconds of the fight, means she gets this huge boost. This is like the power soul becomes better than the final weapon in the game by like not a small margin, I think. So she is now doing way huge multiples of more damage than she should be doing. Other characters, you know, happy to hit 1,000, 1,500. She's doing like 10K with the death blow setup if the death blow hits, but 3,000 without is just enormous damage. And today's episode, we're going to head to Junin. It's going to be a quick one. And we're just going to glory in the fact that Tifa is by far the most powerful character in the game. And sure, you know, if you technically min-max everyone, she doesn't end up as your best character. But we didn't go out of our way. We did one, like, random thing to pick up the Cursed Ring in Medeal. But we could have also stolen it from Ultimate Weapon. There were two ways to get a Cursed Ring. We have to pick up the Power Soul in Mount Nibel. It's down one of the five tubes. I made sure to go back and get that one. That's when we got lost, if you remember that. You know, but it's not like out of your way, right? Uh, death blow, you just pick up on your way. Maybe that's in Gangaga. Even if you don't get it, she's still doing 3,000 a hit. That's, you know, huge. Um, and Odin, or you can, I think, use the Contain Materia, maybe. No, the Destruct Materia will protect against death as well. Uh, added effect, you pick up just normally going through the game. Uh, you can buy Destruct Materia at Medeal. Uh, yeah, we'll bribe this guy for 10 gil to sneak into Junin, sure. Uh, nice that we don't have to do the dolphin thing anymore. But my point is, like, you can get all the pieces to this combo just playing completely normally through the game. And 
her output is just much higher than anyone else's can be. And it's really cool they added stuff like the Power Soul, this weapon that gets these boosts. Uh, they didn't add too many tools like this, but the ones there are, it's really nice to be able to build around. So, you know, Cloud's doing 700 a hit. Let's pretend he was built, like, he had made some power boosts or whatever, didn't have any materia equipped lowering it. Maybe I don't have the, like, most current equipment on him because he was out of the party for a bit. Let's check that. No, 62 is pretty good at this point. Like, we bought the most recent for Piggy Man in 76. So, like, he's, you know, a little behind. But, like, he's doing 750. Maybe he should be doing, like, 1,200. You give him the death boat low combo. So he's doing one hit of 2,400, one hit of 1,200. Like, optimistically, Cloud's doing 3,600. Tifa's doing almost 10,000. Like, her power, her power is so much higher than anyone in the game can reach. And if you don't, like get Knights of the Round, or get this, like, busted endgame stuff, um, I think she's pretty indisputably, without effort, the most powerful character. If you're gonna put in many hours of effort, sure, someone else tops her. But Tifa is fully endgame viable already. Others are doing, you know, a thousand. Maybe mistaken, but doesn't it feel like we're missing something? Ah, so this always, like, tricks me, because... I always think like, oh, is the game telling me I'm missing something? That was um, that was the game trying to cue you into something else, but I think the translation was bad. We're not missing anything. We can continue. But the giant cannon wasn't there. And you can see that on the world's map as well, but it's like easy to not think to look for the giant cannon in Junin. But that was a shot which could show you in the background. Uh, are we supposed to go that way? Probably not. All right, let's see how hard you trained. Tension, charge. Oops, bad job. Uh, hey, that's the underwater reactor. Come back. Ah, that is the right way. Um, but yeah, Tifa, Tifa now does, you know, 10k a turn if she hits, 3k a turn if she doesn't. She is super powerful. We could at this point, I think, go do... Uh, you should get limit break practice. We could go do... Um, the battle square. Now, one disadvantage is she only gets the huge boost for those 60 seconds at the start. So as insanely powerful as this is, and as much as fights will end in 60 seconds or less most of the time, she's actually even better on this build if you do a solo Tifa run. Um, the solo Tifa run I did fairly recently, you know, a few years ago, was just really enjoyable because the 60 seconds last a lot longer when no one else has turns that get in the way. How about whoever stays alive gets to take her out? All right, you're on. But what if both of us... Whoa, don't even talk about that. Uh, but yes, this is the All Hail Tifa episode. Um, other people's turns are not... Don't matter to us anymore. They just exist to, uh, to wait for Tifa to one-shot all the enemies doing 13,400 damage in a single turn. Like, we were get, we got Quadra Magic early, and we're quad casting Comet, which is, like, a very powerful spell. And how much was it doing? 900 a hit? 3,600 total? Tifa laughs at such numbers. You know. Gulp. Great. There went two perfectly good men. Loud yell from outside. Don't know what that was about. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Yawn, I'm sleepy. For June in. So, yeah, Tifa is the GOAT. All hail Tifa, the most powerful character in video game history. Uh, this is not quite true, because it wasn't, like, the case the whole game. But if you compare to things that are, like, famously uh, overpowered characters, we have this setup earlier in the game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have this setup earlier in the game than, like, Orlando comes in FF Tactics. And Tifa is busted. So, yeah, anyways, I love this setup. It's great. Uh, so you can't get past this dog unless you fail the mini-mission here, and then you have to come back and uh, get past that dog. We will not be failing the mini-mission here, both because it is easy and because we have Tifa. How would we possibly fail at anything now? Uh, I'm going to save state here rather than save because I'm lazy, because it doesn't feel an important place to save. 
because you know what? We're not going to lose to the giant chicken. We are going to destroy the giant chicken. Will the giant chicken survive the 60 seconds? Yes, probably. Probably. But not guaranteed. Um, some other strategies against this giant chicken boss. Um, Barret is really useful here. Its most dangerous move is this laser, and Barret has can use his limit break that eats MP, and if he uh, eats enough of its MP, it can't use that move. So if you use, I think, Barret's limit break twice or a couple times, but also Magic Hammer is an enemy skill you can get. Uh, you can... Yeah. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? She's the best there will ever be. Um, yeah, so you could use Magic Hammer, you could use Barret's Limit Break, but that's a way to stop it. It is weak to Lightning, but the Lightning damage still isn't amazing. But like, if you were going to use spells, you definitely want to be using Bolt. Um, but clearly the correct strategy, the optimal strategy, is have Tifa in your party and do 10,000 damage a turn. Seems like a pretty good strategy. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed my solo Tifa run. There's a couple bosses that are kind of silly, and I like, rather than way over level for it, basically like Reno with the pyramids, I left the other two characters alive and just had him sit there so he'd just be distracted by them. Um, I actually killed the water boss that can put you in water orbs before it put Tifa in a water orb. That one went fine. It survived? No, it didn't survive. Okay. I was going to say, it survived a hit from Tifa. I mean, it wouldn't have survived the second one, but still, shout out to that enemy. Made me think it had survived. Um, yeah, there's a... I think there might be some stuff we could steal from here. Uh, there's an enemy that if you morph, you get an item that is relevant to beating one of the super bosses of the game. But... That's not the life we lead. We attack with one character, and one character alone, and the enemy all die. So if you've never done this in your own playthroughs, like, give it a try. Give it a try. I, I had a lot of fun doing this when I found out about it. Then I did a solo Tifa run, and was just like, yeah, they're... enemies got nothing. They got nothing. And then uh, now I, I think this is my third run where I'm doing it somewhat. You, you're Cloud. No, nope, I'm Tifa. I'm not Cloud. <laughs> Cloud doesn't attack anymore. Cloud is a healer. Will she kill him on the counterattack or the death blow? The death blow. And you can see why. Also, if she's the only party member, more things hit her physically. So she's just ending fights by counterattacking everything, doing 3,000 damage counterattack. You are not getting this huge materia. Maybe I should steal. Maybe, maybe. I think Piggy Man is steal. So maybe we should throw out a steal here or there. But what does it matter? Cloud, are you useful? No, we don't need you anymore. Oh, they're so dead. Uh, I thought she'd get the counterattack there, but I was thinking she either gets a counterattack or hits the death blow, and the fight is over. I remember many years ago, I was like Googling who's the best character in the game, just kind of out of curiosity. And I remember, like, basically they said all the stats of characters are very similar. You know, there are some differences, but mostly it's, you know, A, you can stat max, but B, okay, I think we do want to steal from these. But B, it's not worth the different. Yeah, it's not worth differences in materia, right? Or like other things, you know. Um, the main difference between characters in this game is limit breaks. You don't want to attack Tifa. What an idiot. Yeah, even the higher level Shinra is just one shot by her weaker attack. Um, and I remember this ranking, and so like Cloud and Barret, I think have the limit breaks that hit the most, so they are technically like maxed out. Given that the best thing you can do with characters is uh, we should check that new thing I stole, is armor and, eh, don't need it. Uh, sorry, the, the biggest differences between characters are going to be, because they should just be using Knights of the Round if you're being optimal anyway, um, 
you know, the biggest differences are, are limit breaks, right? Everything else is pretty close. This is not a game where the classes are all that different. Let's heal up just to make sure we're in somewhat full shape for, uh, for the boss. Are you going to counter it? No. Okay. Anyway, uh, and so I think it had Cloud and Barret at the top, because Barret, one of his level 3 limit breaks, actually not his level 4, um, I think has the most hits, and Cloud is up there, and then I forget who it goes, like Vincent's at the bottom, but Tifa's close to bottom because her limit break's pretty, pretty poor. And not great. It hers isn't great throughout the game, I admit this. But if you're just playing efficiently through casually, if you're not doing like super min max stuff at the game, we're not gonna do Chocobo side quests. Like if you're not doing all that, it's Tifa. <laughs> it's just Tifa. The huge materia. Again, still don't understand why we're stopping getting the huge materia, but we can have fun doing it. Uh, we're going to end this episode after the boss, just because this episode is a Showcase Tifa episode, and yeah, let's let's have some fun, see how much she can do. Hopefully she hits a death blow, if she doesn't, that's a shame, but still. They're going to take it on that submarine. If we take a shortcut, we might just make it. I died so many times to this boss as a kid, and I remember um, just grinding in the corridors before it, leveling up uh, Comet 2 to try to fight it with that. Probably should have been using Bolt. Did we make it? And you can see, we're supposed to be looking at the submarine, but we can see the robot chicken from here, bane of my existence. Um, FF8, the boss that kills me, was Fujin and Raijin in Balam Garden in Disc 3. Uh, that one I just couldn't beat because I hadn't figured out how junctioning worked and didn't junction. And I think that's often a difficult one if you haven't figured out how junctioning worked. So that's the one that wrecked me as a kid in FF8. Um, and Carry Armor, which is the name of this boss, is what wrecked me in FF7. Why, hello there, Turks. What are you doing? Help load. He hasn't looked at us yet. Now he looks. Cloud? Help? Looks like we barely made it. Either give it to us or else. Which is it going to be? Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. And it's our beautiful robot chicken friend. Which, again, gave me so much trouble. Um, hardest fight in FF10 for me was Seymour on Gagazette. Um, FF9. I don't remember if anything in particular stopped me a ton. I was just, like, worse at it in general. My priority is the huge materia. All right, let's go. Come on, full bar and death blow hits. Ooh, nice, we got one of them. Nice, 4,300. Okay, it is pretty good defense. She's still doing 6,500 a turn. Okay, that piece laser is bad. That's going to do a whole... Oh, Jesus. But she does 2,000 in reply. We're going to heal, and we're going to launch... Her limit will hit three times. This wastes a bunch of time for us, so I don't actually know if I want to use Flim Hazard here. But, yeah, see, it's it's her limit breaks terrible. She's doing much less damage than she does on her normal, and I'm wasting time. So this was silly. Like, we still got 10,000 damage out of her um, in her boosted state. Oh, we still have 40 seconds left. It pauses the clock. That's fantastic. So we're going to death blow here. We're going to keep healing. Missed a death blow, but what you gonna do? Don't pick up Tifa. Okay, great. Hopefully that draws a counterattack. No, it didn't. Okay. Death blow here. Don't want to launch stuff because we want as much time as possible on Tifa here. Uh, she's done 17,000 or so, which is pretty good. She might get a counterattack here. No, we've been unlucky on counters. All right, she's done. Yep, she beat it. She beat it in 47 seconds. I don't think I attacked with it. I did one limit break with Cloud, but she would have gotten that damage when she did the punch after the death blow. We're just going to stop here. Tifa's the goat. Uh, you heard it here first. Pass it on.